following program has been sponsored by 1440 Wellness, a clinic that offers aesthetics and laser technology for body shaping and anti-aging solutions. Welcome to another edition of Clock right here on Go Island. And this just isn't any episode. This is our 25th episode. All right, Woo! nice and yeah. done. But you know what, Todd? It actually kind of feels like 24. Really? I wonder why. Yeah. But you know what? Right here behind us is Moore's at Brooks Landing Mall. I think we should do something special for Clock. We should suit up. Wow! Look, man, even more can make me and you look half decent, dude. Dude, you have never looked so Bond in your life. I think you are correct. I think we look pretty styling for our 25th episode. Thank you to more here at Brooks Landing in Nanaimo. Derek, are you ready to open the envelope? I'm ready. Game on. Well, wait a second here. It says, start in Qualcomm, boys. Derek, spit us to Qualcomm. Whoa! Derek, we're in Qualcomm Beach. That's amazing. You're like magic. Spinning it's the only way to travel. So Derek, here we are in this envelope, like always. Our next puzzle, clue quiz from our very own Kate Bergen. Once we open it, we have one hour on the clock to solve it. Derek, you ready? Let's do it in style. Her great-great-grandmother's birthday is a BC holiday, and while there are lots of places to pause and reflect here, there is one spot specifically that focuses on the reflecting part. Show us what you can see from the exact same spot that she took a retreat to in 1987. Glad to see your dress for the occasion. And Derek, I must say, you are dressed quite nicely. Yes, yeah, looking good. So Derek, somebody's grandmother, Birthdays, a BC holiday. So what do we got for BC holidays that are specifically BC? Um, I don't know. Easter? Well, that's definitely a little more uh, <laughs> global. <laughs> that was a joke. Okay. And reflecting. What are you talking about reflecting? Like, what's reflective? A mirror? Water. There's a fountain right behind you. You see your reflection in there? Well, not now because the water's splashing, so I can't really see my reflection in it. But if it's but calm, it's still, maybe water. Maybe water. Mirror. What else is reflective? You can, like, ponder and reflect into the past. Be alone with your thoughts. Well, Derek, I don't know where we're going, and I don't know what we're looking for, but all I know is we have one hour on the clock starting now. Look at me, I'm a clock. Can I ask you a question? I'm looking for something in Qualicum Beach, apparently. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting hungry. Okay, I'll, I'll be really quick, I promise. All right. I like your jacket, by the way. Thank you. Do you like my jacket? I love your jacket, I love your vest. A great-great-grandmother's birthday is a BC holiday. Yeah, I know, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Victoria Day? Victoria Day. It's a long weekend in May. Queen Elizabeth would be the great-great-granddaughter, right? That sounds right. Did she visit here in Qualcomm Beach? No, I, I, she may have, I don't know. You don't know, okay. Apparently she was in town in 1987. Did you know that? Uh, queen Elizabeth? Yeah. I didn't know that. We were actually here during that time. So did you see the queen? Go shake her hand? Give no. her a high five? No. <laughs> no fist bump? Boom. No. No. Oh, no. Oh. That's I have seen, have seen the queen, though. <laughs> Where did Queen Elizabeth visit? Where would that be? I wonder. I have no idea. If you're in Qualcomm Beach, you want to reflect. Yeah, 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 you want to reflect. Where would something? you go? Where would you go? What's a nice little vantage point that says, wow? The golf course. Golf course. And who doesn't like golfing, right? <laughs> the Queen would golf, wouldn't she? She would. So where did she go in 1987? Well, they stayed at Milner Gardens. They did. Queen Elizabeth, yes. Okay. Is there any place in Milner's Garden where you can reflect on things? or? Yeah, there's a pond. Are yeah. ponds reflective? Um, yes, of course they are. They're like mirrors? You look yeah. into, you see your reflection, right? Yeah, well, there's right? lots of water there, so water's reflective. That sounds pretty good. You're thinking we have to go somewhere, don't you? Where should we go? I'm thinking you need to go to Milner Gardens, to the house. Oh, running in these shoes is tough. Watch out, shoes are slippery, Derek. So much for our usual fleet feet. <laughs> we get the Milner Garden, head towards Parksville, correct? That is correct, and you know what? I've actually been there before. Although I can't remember any reflecting areas. I mean, you could really reflect anywhere in the gardens, but a dedicated reflection area? Here we are, coming down the highway here. So we turn right. Right here, the sign right here. She says V-I-U Milner Gardens. And woodlands. Nice. We dress smart, we act smart. I think we better make sure we don't pass by the location this time. You do have a habit of not paying attention to where you're going. That's right, because I'm driving. I'm just the driver. You should be the navigator. <laughs> look at this right here. Miller Gardens, part of VIU. Right here, look at this, plant sale. Whoa. Right there, usually they don't want us to drive down to the house. So what we'll do is we'll try to get a cart to come drive us down. I'm pretty sure we're here. I'm thinking since we're dressed up, we should be looking for a limo. Oh, a limo would be great. Are you Vic? I'm Vic. So we've got a chauffeur and a stretch. Woohoo! Riding style. So Vic, we're looking for like a reflecting place. Do you know any reflecting places here? I do. What's it called? Apparently, you're supposed to figure that out yourself. Oh, well, 
Oh, 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 you've been talking to somebody. <laughs> so you're expecting us here, were you? I was expecting you. That means we're in the right spot. Oh, hey. what's that? Oh, I don't, I don't know what that is. What is that? It used to be a swimming pool. It, you know, and sometimes people call it reflecting pools. Apparently they do, yes. Here we are. Here we are, Milner House. Milner House. All right. People on the streets in Qualcomm Beach said that this place, Milner Garden, was a host location in 1987 where the Queen and Princess Di came to visit the area. The Queen and Prince Philip. Well, pre Prince Philip, not, not Diana. Well, Diana and Charles came the year before. Ah, uh, see, just people on the street, I didn't know that. So, where did the Queen hang out in 1987 here at Milner Garden? All throughout the house. I'll take you and show you the room that she slept in if you like. Well, let's do that. This is the Queen's room. Okay. And this is where the Queen slept when she and Philip were here in 1987. Great, so obviously it's not a bedroom anymore. When we do weddings here, uh, this is the bride's room. This is where the bride comes prior to the ceremony to prepare for the ceremony. Great location for it. You get to see, look, oh, look over the ocean. Yep. It's nice and bright. Mirrors, which are very, very reflective. Reflective. Very reflective. I'm thinking Kate wouldn't have just picked a room with a mirror. No. So I think we still need to look around. All right, Derek? All right. I know there's a pond over here somewhere. Not too far away. Right down here, there's a sign. There's a labyrinth. Wait a second. Don't you act reflective in a labyrinth? Uh, you get lost in that labyrinth, don't you? Okay, there's a pond. Still water, can you see your reflection? Yeah, I can see reflection. And you know, we still look pretty good. Awesome. There's no signs or anything though. We passed the swimming pool on the way down. I really think we should head there. Let's go swimming pool. The swimming pool is? That way. Okay, let's go. So I don't think this is the right building. No, it's not the right building. I think it's over this way a bit more. Uh, it's a bit of a walk, I think. Should we flag down a ride? I don't know. Hey, Vic. Yeah. I know you're busy, but we passed the pool on the way down. Is it possible you can give us a lift to the pool? Oh, absolutely. All right, jump in, Derek. Go. What kind of sandwich is this, Vic? I'm pretty hungry. Actually, I'm delivering it, so I'm not even sure what it is. Were you delivering it to us? Uh, no, it's going to the uh, the reflecting pond. There's someone there that's waiting for it. A sandwich at the reflecting it's pond? The reflecting pond. Is it the pool up here? It could be. Thanks, Vic. Look, Derek. Nice little pond. Look at me. It's like a mirror. Hey, there you are. See, hello, camera. This is the reflecting pool. Is it always been a reflecting pool? Not always, but, but over the last couple of years, we've changed it, changed it to a reflecting pond. It's a beautiful glass mirror. Did the queen and her husband spend a lot of time at this pool? They were up here, definitely. Calling Kate. Hello? Kate, are we in the right place? Yes, Todd, you're right. We're in the right place. Woohoo! This is a reflecting pool where the queen and her husband spent some time around the deck, you know, with a barbecue, cooking some food, I'm guessing some salmon. This is a great place here at Milner Garden here in Qualcomm Beach. And we should even take some time and reflect on this episode. Because we look good because of Moores. Thank you very much, Moores, at Brooks Landing for suiting us up in some nice looking tuxedos. So today on Clock, we're definitely winners! Look at me, I'm a clock. Clock has been sponsored by 1440 Wellness, a clinic that offers medical aesthetics and laser technology for body shaping and anti-aging solutions.